Welcome to carcleaningguru.com's video tutorial for wheels, tyres and arches. The tools required will be buckets and grit guards, a shampoo product, diluted all-purpose cleaner, a non-acidic designated wheel cleaner, a wash mitt, a designated wheel sponge, a soft bristled detailing brush, a soft bristled all-purpose brush, a long reach wheel brush, a hose pipe or pressure washer, microfiber towels, an all-in-one polish product, a designated wheel sealant, microfiber or sponge applicator pads, a tyre dressing brush, and the designated tyre dressing product. Step 1. Pre-spray. Begin by pre-spraying the tyre walls and wheel arches with a diluted all-purpose cleaner. If heavily soiled, allow to dwell for a few minutes. Step 2. Agitate. Work the cleaner into the tyre walls with an all-purpose brush. Moving on to the arches to remove any loose dirt and debris. Depending on the space between your arches and wheels, you may need to use a slimmer long reach brush. Step 3. Clean the arches. Use a wash mitt and normal shampoo solution in a bucket to follow up, trying to reach all areas of the arch. It is advisable to keep the mitt to clean only arches, wheels and tyres in the future. Do not use it to clean the rest of the vehicle. Step 4. Clean the wheel rears. If the backs of your wheels are heavily soiled, use a non-acidic designated wheel cleaner. Apply liberally and allow to dwell. Using a foaming head allows the product to cling to the wheel surface for longer. Work the cleaner in with a designated long reach wheel brush. Use the brush to clean the brake caliper area if possible. Step 5. Clean the wheel faces. Move on to the face of the wheel by applying the cleaner liberally and allowing to dwell. Work in the cleaner with a soft bristled detailing brush, paying particular attention to wheel nuts and other details depending on the design of your wheel. Use this brush again to access the brake caliper area. Hmm. 
follow up with a normal shampoo solution using a designated wheel sponge or wash mitt. Clean all areas of the wheel face and access the wheel rears if possible. Step 6. Rinsing. Thoroughly rinse off with a hose pipe or pressure washer beginning with the arch. Ensure all cleaning product is removed, paying particular attention to the wheel rears, caliper area and any other design details on the wheel face. Step 7. Drying. Using a microfiber towel that is only used on the wheels, tyres and arches, begin to dry the wheel face. Access the wheel rears and caliper area if possible. Move on to drying the arches and tyre walls, folding the towel to reveal a clean dry surface as necessary. The next steps are advised to be undertaken once the rest of the vehicle has been washed, clayed and dried. Step 8. Polishing. Use an all-in-one product to polish the wheels. Apply a small amount to a microfiber or sponge applicator pad and work in. Reapply as necessary. Follow the manufacturer's recommendations for product curing time and buff off with a soft clean microfiber towel.
Step 9. Sealing. If further protection is desired after the all-in-one polished product, you can use a designated wheel sealant. Apply with a clean sponge applicator pad. Brake calipers can also be polished and sealed. Again, follow manufacturer's instructions for product curing time and buff off with a soft clean microfiber towel. Not forgetting wheel rears if these have been polished and sealed and brake caliper area. Step 10. Dressing tyres. The final step is to dress the tyres using either a flat tyre dressing brush or a sponge applicator pad apply a high quality durable tyre dressing product and work into the tyre wall work only to the very edge of the tyre tread Use a microfiber towel to wipe off any excess product from the tyre wall or wheel face. And now you can see tyre dressing being applied via a sponge applicator pad. Reapply as necessary. And again, clean off any excess product with a microfiber towel. Once your wheels have been properly cleaned, polished and sealed, providing they are not left too long, a normal shampoo solution and diluted all-purpose cleaner should be adequate to clean the wheels and bring them back up to standard. 
simply repolishing and adding further layers of sealant as necessary.